So are you from LA or are you from yeah. East LA? No, Central, like uh, La Pointe. Actually, it's kind of a little bit East, La Pointe area. You want to talk about some motherfucking riders out there? East LA? <sighs> it's the biggest fucking gang, it's the biggest gang city in the world for Bro, that shit is scary. But yeah, all, and all the best food is in the fucked up neighborhood. It is. Uh, one time I was in LA, uh, after I got done with my shift, I went to my favorite taco stand, and there's like a group of people over there. It's like 3 a.m. It's my turn to order, so I get up there, and there's two guys on the side. And they're just hanging out. I thought like they knew the taco lady, like they're, they're protection or something, I don't know. So I get up to the window and I order a quesadilla. These fools wait for me to pay. All of a sudden I hear, ah! And then those fools take off running, and the lady's like, they took the, they, they robbed me. I'm just like, you want me to do, lady? They took off. I mean, they didn't steal the quesadilla, did they? So you didn't save the day. I ain't saving no days. Right. <laughs> 3 a.m. in a taco truck. They took the like, money. Sorry, away. lady. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Twenty Dollar Chef. I'm here with Willie and Large. New show coming out. Beats and Eats. What's up, boys? Not much, baby. How are you? Boys? Thanks for having us on. Sweet fucking pads. Nice, Thanks, man. Your show just aired Friday. This past Friday for the first time. Episode one was off the hook. I loved it. Just combining the front of house to the back of house with you two eclectic gentlemen. It was a, it was a wonderful show, and I'm pumped to even know you guys at this point. Right? I, we, that's why we came on. If there's two things we know you like, mm -hmm. it's uh, music and food. Yes. Beats and eats. That's why. That's so why we're here hanging out with you today. <laughs> yeah. That was a very, Raw very garlic. That's, that's real sincerity right there. That's oozing out of my man. Can't buy that. Large right here. All right, Large, you know what? what I, I know that you probably uh, never been to Cuba or no shit like that. What's your favorite island you've been to? Uh, Staten. Staten Island. <laughs> there, well, you know what? That's funny. That's why I wanted to make this day. We're going to do tostones today. Tostones. To be honest, I was just stoned at the grocery store with my girlfriend the other day. Yep. And I saw these and I was like, I'm going to buy some of these and make them for an episode. And then she's like, well, for what? Just because? I'm like, yeah. I go, well, maybe we'll and large one to make them. Sure. So I got two, I got the bright, you know, I got the yellow ones and some green ones. These are gonna be obviously yellow, a little sweeter. So you wanna help out, you start peeling, just throw it in there. Now you have, you own a restaurant in the Bronx. You all right, man? I ate the raw garlic. <laughs> he ate raw garlic. <laughs> you want me to give you a glass of olive oil on the rocks or anything? No, but that kicked, that kicked my ass. <laughs> you just throw some raw garlic in? It's supposed to be the healthiest thing you put in. Oh, God. Raw ginger. Bro. People love that shit. So what we got here, chef? All right, so. <laughs> I'm gonna slice these up, we'll deep fry them, we're gonna pull them out, give them a little smash down, and then pop them back in there for a minute. Okay. Pull them out, a little sea salt, we're gonna be dipping them over here, and our little uh, garlic sauce, we're gonna make olive oil, a little white vinegar, uh, garlic, and a little cilantro for no reason. So you're Mexican, I'm half Puerto Rican. Tostones is a must have in my house. Love these things. Right, and they actually make it with the- uh, Plantano. Right, platanos, but they make it with the mojo sauce, which is the garlic, yeah, oil. That's the one. Yeah. They make it real salty, but it's smooth. It, it coats it really well. We're gonna do our best right here with that. Right, that's what I say. This is what we're doing with that, right? I never made that. I did forget scallions. Okay. So let's pretend I put them in there. Gotcha. If you ever see a, a old Hispanic fat lady, uh -huh. arms that look like mine, yeah, yeah, yeah. That means the shit is bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about the A on the door. Don't worry about the fucking, uh, if the bathrooms are clean or not. That's not the issue. The food will be bombed. So I need you to be the fat lady in the kitchen. Well, I got the stomach for it. Okay. All Some right. people soak these in salt water first, but you don't feel the need to do that, right? It's, no, no. It's a wasted step. Come on, man. By the way, this is the worst fucking thing to put in front of me at large. <laughs> this <laughs> That's is why I put it there, Friday man. for us. We eat cheese and salami, and this is the worst thing. If you ever want us to come to your house, whoever's out there, if you ever invite me at large, <laughs> you have a cheese plate with different meats and some fine wine. We'll fucking babysit your kids with fine wine and cheese and meats. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I got my little my little deep fried tool here. Can you eat these raw? I, I, no. I might think so. Raw says no. Sweeter ones, probably. I don't want to shit my pants. So chef, when you're cooking it up, and I know you have a, a beautiful uh, lady on your side, does she say, hey, I'm tired of your cooking, let's go eat at a restaurant? Or you be like, no, I'm the bomb in the kitchen, we're gonna budget and stay inside. Oh, no, we, we just do whatever. Sometimes I cook, sometimes she cooks, sometimes we is both cook. Is she a better cook than you? Um, no, she's not better, we're about the same. Okay. She loves, but she cooks a lot. Could we ever have a cook-off with, with, with our show? Uh, obviously, Lars being the leading chef and your show against Jordan Berry and the whole gang gang gang. Yeah, we could definitely do that, but I don't know if Jordan's really a, co a, a cook. Well, she can squeeze some shit out, right? Yeah, she's some juices juicer. and shit. Yeah, she can make some jam. Yeah, I got two juicers on she my- She can make jams, yeah, yeah. She can make jams, yeah. Yeah, we'll do a good dessert. The large, large is, says he'll body anybody a bar soon. Did I say that? <laughs> but I said that in, in privacy. <laughs> <laughs> so see the harder ones, the ones that haven't ripened up yet, they'll give them a little bit extra time, but I will selectively take out the more ripe sweet ones. All right, when we start, when those all come out, we'll smash them up and then we'll make this little puree over here, wherever you call it. So that puree is like a bastardized chimichurri? Yeah, basically. I'm gonna throw some of these in there, a couple more. Hello, Clarice. 
You know, this This is a scene if we were a bunch of gang uh, mobsters that had our own kitchen and... The prison. Yeah, this would be us. This is what the scene would look like. Except I would be in the back room getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a smile. Right. No, that's fucking hard work. <laughs> Tell you what, getting fucked in the ass makes your whole week. Some call it a detox. It depends where you're from. I have the remote in my hand. Anal sex, it's never not funny, right? <laughs> Ho! What's the deal with butt sex? <laughs> hey, did you see that guy that cut the garlic with the thing? He went like this? Yeah. Did you see that video? I saw it. it was it's your... not as, it's not, I don't think it's as hard as it looks, man. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Got a little bit. Yeah, it takes practice. But I mean, that's my first shot. He was taught like at two to do that. I'm gonna pull over the ones the tostones already done. We're we crushing with a fork. I'm gonna do them with this. I like that. That's a nice looking cleaver. Yeah, smash that bitch now. You wanna get it on some of this, Willie? Yeah, I'll smash. Come on over here. You really smash. <laughs> I'll tell you, this kitchen got a lot smaller, didn't it? <laughs> oh, I smashed it too much. See, that's not... Yeah, that's it. That I can disappear behind Willie. Be right back. I'm gonna head backstage. <laughs> Take a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna say it's a black screen. <laughs> right. I mean, it's it's... See? All right. Oh. We're okay. I'll give you that one. All right, for this part over here, I'm gonna throw in a little olive oil, a couple of garlic cloves, I'll put three in, a couple of tablespoons of white vinegar. So I'm gonna toast up some almonds for a minute. Yeah. You want, I got some almonds right there. Kind of go a little pesto. Uh-oh, show up, Lori. Go chimmy, off, Chimmy okay. pesto. I'll throw some almonds in there. All right, I'm gonna throw some cilantro in there just for, for no reason. You like that beat? Yeah, for the beat. Looking like fucking artwork over here, by the way. It's gonna be good, actually. You want more salt or anything? No, no, I just threw a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, just give it a little salt, right? A little of salt, there. Chef, what would you say is your favorite gadget in the kitchen? Ah, uh, uh, man, knife and cutting board. That's my favorite thing. Lars, I would guess your your wok and your crepe machine. My favorite kitchen uh, item? Yes. It's probably my cast iron. Oh, so I love like my, my cast iron. Right? Why is it about cooks and cast iron? I, can't, I have to have this motherfucker here at all times. My pops broke her cast iron. This motherfucker would not talk to him for a month. She was so hurt by it. Ooh, that's good. We're good, yeah. I mean, the, the, the nuts haven't really gotten uh, too beat up, like me in prison, but I think it's gonna be nice. How many boyfriends would you have if you went to jail right now? Oh, hit me. I think, I, think, I think if we're gonna look at all three of us, Willie's got the size probably to beat him off. And he's also a leader, so right. he's and, I, yeah, and I don't mean beat him off, I mean beat them off. Right, like fight. I wouldn't right. do too bad either, but I'm just saying, if you take that hat off, they tend to go for the long <laughs> hair. That's why I keep it up. They see that shaved head. We're gonna be, right. we're gonna be, if you're just talking pure rape, right. it's gonna be competitive between yeah. you and I. No, I think I go down harder, fighting harder right now. You right. think so? Oh, yeah, I got that Mexican right. spirit. All right, here we go. Spread those out. Yeah, this isn't the exact same way they're doing it in Puerto Rico or the Dominican, but listen, that's the thing about this. We can do whatever we want, it's our shit. I love the fact we threw a couple of almonds in the fucking chimichurri, made a chimney pesto. Hey, Jesse, no cucumber challenge, right? Uh, <laughs> it's just hard to get it out, no cucumber challenge. All right, I'm gonna start pulling them out. We're on the fly. We're doing this on the fly. Always on the fly. All right, these are fresh out. La large, hit them with the ladder cam, hit a little salt on there. Look at that. Oh. Right on. Those are good so far. There we go. Tell which ones you smashed and which ones fucking Willie obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut up some cilantro, throw on top of it. All right, a little bit of that right there. You know, gotta make it look pretty and shit. And that's it. This is a celebration of a new wonderful piece of content, a new great show with two great dudes. You know, I'm pumped, I'm pumped, man. You guys, episode one was awesome. Yes, sir. Large, obviously a foodie, a mastermind in the, in the kitchen, me. Music has always uh, kind of set my mood and there's always been a motivation of mine. So we took two passions, we smashed them together, beats and eats, and uh, here we are. Well, I'm excited to watch the whole season, man. Thank you guys for coming on the show. Get in here, let's try these out. Let's try them out, come on. Good, a good dip in there. That's a really good uh, chimichurri you made there. This is like a Dominican chimmy. Chimmy pesto. Chimmy pesto. Fucking very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's this episode of $20 Chef. Here's a nice little appetizer for you to pull out of your ass next time you got a little honey coming over like on the third date when you'd even let her know that your appetizer game was this strong. Not only that, you got a whole nother badass show to check out with two bad motherfuckers, Beats and Eats. You can also watch with your lady, right? Yeah, yeah I think I'm, I'm, I'm think it's a show built for fucking. Thank you again for the invite, bud. This was delicious. Mm, more fucking.